Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. I'm here with Palm, and we are here at the British Motor Museum in Gaydon for the ultimate BMW meet. It's at the end of April. The sun should be shining, but should it's not. Be. But it's cold. But well, we are in England. At least it's not raining, mate. That was the yeah. uh, that was the fair for today. Was the rain, but uh, we're all right. And today's all about BMWs. So if you love BMWs, hold tight because we've got loads to show you. I've never seen so many beamers. <laughs> Honestly, this is absolutely brilliant. Anyway, today we're here with Elif Performance and Slam Sanctuary. And today we bought with us our E31 8 Series, 840Ci individual, five BBSs and Elif 3H full performance kit. Bought with me today my GATM3 that's also running Elif Performance on 3H. And we've bought the LTO build as well. This is the first proper, proper drive it's been for since um, just E30's fitted the uh, S53 litre engine in there. It's been actually fitted, fitted in really well. So Shaz and Nav at just E30's did a brilliant job of sticking this in the car. Um, and yeah, yeah, it looks right at home in there, to be honest. So I think uh, that's enough of us, Palm. Yeah, let's go and check out some Beamers. <laughs> let's show you some other rather Beamers, than, yeah? Rather than two old blokes, let's go and check out some Beamers. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> And something that's very close to my heart, E30 M3s. And you know I love an E30 M3. And there is a row of E30 M3s just here. And there's some more dotted around all over the place. It's, a, it's an amazing sight. This is a special one. And I think we need to get Keith, the owner of this particular E30 M3. Why, what's special about this? <laughs> not a standard E30 M3 here. This has got a bit of a special engine in there. The owner is Keith. So we have a V10. Out of an E60 Out of an M5. E60 M5, which is stock about 500 brake. Yep. <clears throat> but you thought that's not enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you gone and done? I supercharged it. So you supercharged it. And off camera, I had a chat with him. And I said, who's done the work? Who's done all the work, Keith? Uh, myself. Uh, he's done all the work himself. A labour of love. So <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing. What have you? Done? What's involved? What's involved from creating this monster? An awful lot of hours, basically. Mm. So it's took well over 200 hours just to get that charger on with all the other bits I had to do. ESS. So two yeah. steady days. You can bolt that charger on but it's literally took me that long because just having to move stuff around and obviously the kit's designed to fit the engine. Sure. But not the car. Not so, the car. Yeah. You know, having I done our own... Fabricate brackets yeah. and it uh, just takes forever. And having done our own E30 LTO recently and just mm. going into an E36 M3, that mm. was fairly easy because there's still yeah. a lot of yeah, space. You can buy the engine mounts and yeah. stuff like this. You have to make everything. And I had to make the cross member and the engine mounts and everything. So you've got custom Cut rad, custom oil cooler, custom yeah. pipe, everything's custom. Custom rad, custom charge cooler rad in the front and it's got a 50% bigger E60 M5 oil cooler rad in it as well. I've got to say this is probably one of the best E30 M3s in the country and hopefully later in the year when we do another M me, I'll message Keith and we'll get this down to Cass and maybe he can take me out for a drive in this. Keith, well done mate, and uh, I will see you again at some point. Look, another modified E30, now I've seen this one before. Well, you know what, if you're going to make a show car out of an E30 M3, this is how to do it. So this belongs to a gentleman called Sid, yeah. he's from the Midlands, so he's a local yeah. guy. Uh, we'll throw his Instagram details up on the screen somewhere. So it's an S54 uh, M3 lump, but he's supercharged it. And it's probably close to 600 brake, from what he tells me. Um, I don't know how he gets the power down. It's on air, so he's not afraid. It's on air, stretch rubber, yep. and he goes, it wheel spins everywhere. It's tail happy. <laughs> Let's carry on walking because there's a lot of BMW. Yep. 
Alpina a proper rare. E28, B10, extremely rare. There's a list of all the specs, and I think he's had a magazine feature there. It's but this car is it's stunning. It's original. Look, is it the, the, so the stripes on the car match Well, this the is a 39 year old car, so it might have been restored at some point. Uh, we've not had a chance to speak to the owner. Um, so if you know the owner, drop him a DM uh, and drop a comment below. But this does look stunning. So this is the whole section of Alpinas here, farm. Look. Remember, people used to ring up asking for Alpina stereos. Oh, They're yeah. actually asking for an Alpine stereo. <laughs> now, going probably proper old school, we are talking 70s BMW E9s, from uh, stock E9s to 3 liter CSIs, and including a couple which are sort of Batmobile spec rear okay. wing, oh, front. Got you, got you. I think we need to get the owner of this one, get him on the channel. So let's find the owner. So staying with classics, guys, we've got a three-liter CSL here, E9, uh, and belongs to this chap here, Mark. Nice to meet you, Mark. Nice to meet you. Um, I've got to say, this looks beautiful. Thank you. Off camera, I've asked him what's the difference between this and a Batmobile, because I thought it was a Batmobile, but it's not, is it? No. Okay, what you have here is, as you said, is a three-liter CSL. And they came to the UK in a standard form with none of the aerodynamic bits and pieces on. They were supplied in Germany in the same way with none of the aerodynamic bits and pieces on. Uh, there was 500 supplied to the UK. There was another 167 cars that came after, uh, which were considered Batmobiles, and are known as Batmobiles. And they have all the aerodynamic HUC you see in this car. So this car is a genuine CSL, sure, but it's not a Batmobile, truly. A little bit about this car. Do you know what kind of power this car is? This, the, the normal, normal CSL would have about 200 horsepower. This one has been hopped up a bit. It's got about 268 horsepower. And what have, what have you done to get the extra 60 horses out of this car? Uh, cam pistons, uh, exhaust manifold. On there, you see on the top is not the normal injection that the CSL sure. would have. Yeah. That's uh, what they call heritage injection. It's actually, instead of carburetors, they look like carburetors, instead of carburetors, it's actually got throttle bodies inside of those carburetors. All those bodies. And do you see? So I could see here there's a, a whole host of yep. E9s here. Yep, a bunch of guys have got E9s, they've just all got together on uh, on Facebook and on Messenger and so on, and uh, that's how we communicate. We'll so put all official. their details up in the description below. Overall, fantastic car. Really you. drawn to this car, I think, possibly because of the color. <laughs> yeah, even though you know, next to me, we've got another icon. This is a lovely one. car, too. This is my oh. friend Brian's car. Uh, it's exactly, pretty much the same sort of spec underneath the bonnet. The suspension and the wheels and so on. It's it certainly uh, looks a part, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it's a lovely car. Mark, thank you for your time. Thank you very Appreciate much. That. And no what problem. a lovely E9 3 litre CSL. Guys, M3 CSL owners. There's about 12 of them here. And the first one in the lineup is mine. Now, if you've not seen the video of my CSL, I dropped it on the channel about two years ago, and it's probably one of the first or second videos. Second video I did, maybe a little bit robotic. If you want to have a laugh, <laughs> up here somewhere is going to be a link to that video. These are just, in my opinion, the E46 M3 CSL is the best M car ever made. You're going to disagree with me? Naturally aspirated, yeah. Or are you going to agree with me? Naturally aspirated, yeah. yeah. It's one of, Definitely. it's the best M car ever made. And it's a combination of what they did to a stock E46, reduced it by 100 kilograms, the wheels, but the most important thing, it's what's underneath the bonnet, that carbon intake, and that makes a massive difference. The, that plenum sounds absolutely amazing. So here you go, guys. That carbon intake, that's Whoa. all you see. And that's all you hear when you're yeah. actually giving the car some beans. It's crazy. Needs a bit of a clean pump. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, oh, better get. Oh, come on. Better get the uh, Maguire's detailing bag out and <laughs> give it a clean. <laughs> Lovely to see this BMW E38 here slammed on the floor. But yeah, let's have a let's have a look at the Maguire stand, shall we? So 
So, BMW Supercar M1. Now that is very, very, very rare. It looks absolutely stunning. What do you guys think? About 450 units were made between 78 and 81. It's a 3.5 litre, six cylinder, mid engine sports car. So yeah, very, very, very rare and highly collectible. Just look at it from the back. I love these two BMW badges, one on each corner. Stunning car, possibly one of the cars of the show. In fact, at the end of this episode, I'll tell you my car of the show, but this is right up there. Moving away from classic, something that we're familiar with, F80s and F82, M3s, M4s. Uh, I had an M4, Palm had an M3, Sakia Orange. That was a fantastic car, wasn't oh, it? Mate, I do you love, miss it? Uh, yeah, I do, I do actually, yeah. It, I, think it, it was, was a, I think it was a colour combo and everything you've done to it which really set that car off. Yeah, you've yeah. got every colour variant, almost every colour variant of an F80 yeah. here. Quite nice. Brilliant. Good to get some audio on the channel. So E34 525i Sport with AudioWave product, product we don't sell, but I've had an opportunity to sit inside and have a listen, which I can't refuse. Palm, get out of the way. So guys, this is Nigel, hi Nigel, owner of this lovely uh, E34. Now, I've not heard of Audio Wave. Okay, Grant down in Southend makes them. Right. They're handmade, um, literally every amp is made by himself. So all the machining of the terminal, stuff like that, he does it all in house. Fantastic. Um, the heat sinks, he, um, he hand machines, so yeah. And then every, every amp is hand tested and uh, yeah. And the installations done by yourself? Yeah, yeah, the whole installation. Um, the only thing I didn't do was trimming the seat, so that went to a, a seat trimmer, because okay. I don't do stitching. But other than that, all the dashboard was made by myself. They've got a 10 inch subwoofer in there. Uh, we've got eight inch mid base down in kick panels, and then four inch mids and tweezers. Nothing in the back? Nothing in the back, no. No, no. Right, so I think we need to close the door and I'll have a listen. Unfortunately, guys, depending on what music you play for copyright reasons. Uh, yeah, you probably won't You probably to. won't be here. But let's have a listen and I'll give you my honest opinion. Close the door, please. <laughs> so, honest opinion, guys, blown away. Uh, the sound stage is just amazing. There's depth there as well. There is some lows. I thought it might be just purely punchy bass because it's yep. a 10 inch sub, but actually there are some lows but it's the complete frequency range. Really, really cool, exceptionally well. Probably one of the best cars I've heard for a while. And that's down to the setup as well. You have yep. really set this up. Yep, yep. The sound stage is perfect. 25 grand for an eight series. A few years ago, they were like eight grand and no one wanted them. But now that they're, they're, they're proper sought after now, and um, obviously the value's gone up, I think we did all right on our one. All right, there's a lovely E92 M3 here, purpley color with lotus white interior. Um, this color combo is amazing. The only uh, M3 car with a V8 engine, uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to get back into one. It's nice to see a good mix of E92s. So we've done E31s, E92s, we've covered some E9s, we've covered uh, E30s, a couple in between, the E36 and the E46, and they are just over there, so we'll take a walk over there. There's a nice mix of cars here, there's a lovely Imola Red um, Edition model, it's called, uh, with red interior with black Alcantara on the sides looks in very good condition here. And but yeah, just good to see a nice mix of E36s, everything from your stock cars to M cars, M3s, uh, Tourings and convertibles. Yeah, one that we've shown on the channel before, James's E36 M3 Evo in Historia Blue. Um, really, James, I'm not criticizing it. I'm giving it some love, James. I don't know about the owner, but the car itself is pretty good. E36 
46s, you've got that stancy look uh, on air, convertibles. Another special E46 M3 here, parked on its own. But what's so cool about this one are the seats. Recaro CS Sportsters. Yep. <laughs> they, made, they look good in almost any car. They look particularly fantastic in this. I, like, I think I like... it's, again, the color combo. Really yeah, yeah. nice looking car, this one. Credit to the owner. Uh, so, Palm, let's just have a wander over there and uh, let's head back to the stand then, yeah? Yeah, man. Maybe get some food. I don't, it's Guys, see you in a moment. Stancy boy over there, Stancy boys. <laughs> right, guys, that's a wrap from us here at Ultima BMW Show at the British Motor Museum. And I've got to say, what an amazing mixed variety of cars, everything wow. from old school classic to brand new. We've got the Pop Pop Bang Bang crew going on in the background. Brilliant. Yeah, you're going to have that wherever you go. Well, you can't have a show these days without a bit of Pop Pop Bang Bang. <laughs> Um, it's my, been my first time to this show and you know what, I'll definitely, definitely be making a point of coming again um, next year. Um, well done to the organisers for putting on a great show um, to get all of this together, to get all these amazing machines together for one event, I'm sure is not an easy task, but they managed to pull it off and they've done a great job, well organised. Um, so yeah, Palm, car of the show, have you got one? Oh, there's but, so many, but I know I, I haven't picked one to be honest, but I've seen a lot of BMs today, a lot, a lot, a lot of BMs. I've walked up and down and I've got to say um, the E30 M3 666 well, yeah, Keith's I, car. Yes, yes, definitely. E60 V10 supercharged, 675 brake horsepower. What a car, what a build. The fact that he's built it himself is insane. But guys, we've shown you a lot of BMs today, loads of B-roll. What was your favorite car of the event today? Um, drop a comment down below. Uh, Slam Sanctuary, don't forget the merch, guys. Details on the screen and link below in the description. Make sure you give us some love. Um, so you yeah, guys, make sure, you know what you've got to do, you've got to smash that like button. Uh, make sure you share our content and guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've got a lot of love here today, so it's quite nice walking around and people are giving us the appreciation for the content that we're dropping. Kind of quite cool, it's, quite yeah, humbling as well. It all um, makes it worthwhile. Yeah, it makes it so worthwhile. onwards and upwards, we'll see you again on another episode on Cast TV.